everybody. So I know that a lot of us are home right now and a lot of us are home and sewing right now. And so what I'd like to do is over the next couple of days, I'd like to make some little videos showing either a really good basic sewing technique or a short, easy basic sewing project of something that's gonna be useful right now. Um, so today I'm gonna start by showing how to make some reusable unpaper towels. So these are paper towels made out of flannel that you can use for cleaning, you can use for wiping things up, you can use them for drying things. Um, they are reusable, rewashable, and you can either make them on a serger or a sewing machine. And I am going to show you both ways. Um, so hopefully this is helpful to you um, during this time because I know that paper supplies are in short supply right now and not super easy to get, but I'm sure a lot of you have some flannel in your stash that you didn't know what to do with and I'm gonna show you how to make those into reusable paper towels. If you have any questions, go ahead and DM us. I can answer them for you or try my best to answer them for you, um, and I hope you enjoy it. The easiest way to do this is on a serger. You're going to cut yourself a piece that's 12 by 13, so it's gonna be 12 inches tall by 13 inches wide. You're going to curb your edges, and basically you're just going to serge all the way around the edge. This is going to prevent the flannel from fraying when you wash it, but it's also going to make it so that the edges are neatly finished and you don't have to worry about anything coming apart. So you're just going to cut yourself a nice rectangle. You can actually do whatever size you want. It doesn't have to be 12 by 13 and you're just going to stitch around the edges. This is set for just a regular four thread overlock, just the standard overlock stitch. And you're just going to stitch right next to the edge, trying not to trim anything off. When you're coming around the curves, you can just kind of slow down and feed the fabric into the curve. and the serger is still going to catch all the way around your curve. You're going to go all the way around the fabric and you're just going to tuck under the edge of your stitching when you get to the end. For the sewn version, you're going to cut yourself a piece 12 by 14 and you are going to mark a half inch seam allowance and then another half inch seam allowance. So each one of these lines is a half an inch and you're going to mark that on all four sides. On each of those sides, you're going to fold this in to that half inch line and press, and you're going to fold it in another half inch and press. You're going to do that around all four sides, and once you have all of those pressed, you are going to open them up. You're going to take your corners, and you're going to fold those in so that that second line is going to be pressed up to here. So when this folds in, you have your line here and you're going to press it in there. So that second line, um, this might be easier if you mark it on the outside as well. You're going to line that up to the inner line and you're going to press that corner in. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to trim this corner off from here to here. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut that off across this corner. That's going to make it so that when I fold this corner in, it's going to miter my corner. So that's going to get mitered in there. When you bring up your next corner here, it's going to miter it in there. So you're going to do that on all four sides and then you're just going to stitch that down. So again, you're going to fold up that corner. You're going to trim in between the two lines and then you're going to fold and press your corners in. 
So at this point you are going to stitch down each of these folded edges. Um, this is a great chance to play with some of your decorative stitches because you can use a decorative stitch to hold this down, you can use a straight stitch, you can use a zigzag. I'm going to use a little star stitch. So I'm just going to go ahead, I have um, my B foot on, and I've actually used a little bit of glue to glue my corner on so that I make sure I don't have to have pins or anything in my way. When I get into my corner, I'm just going to put my needle in the down position and I'm just going to keep sewing. So you're going to take whatever stitch you choose and you're going to stitch around the entire thing to help hold down the fold and to finish off the edges. So here's my finished sewn version and here's my finished serged version. So either one works, they're both going to wash really easily and they're going to help you to reduce the amount of paper towels you're using right now um, because like I said these are washable, reusable, they're going to last you a very long time, um, much longer than a paper towel will. So if you do make any of these make sure that you tag us, tag Pollards in it and we would love to see what you're making. Um, so enjoy!